Hello and welcome to episode 84 of Thinking Outside the Pod. 84. Huh? 84. 84 episodes down. Infinity to go. Yeah, that's we're, well. Let's no not let's not be too uh, <laughs> ambitious here with infinity. Infinity minus one. It's like you plus know, three. The rapture happened. Like, sorry, we can't go. We <laughs> like, we yeah. have we have episodes to do. <laughs> yeah, like like yeah. Well, like end of the world scenarios. Like the rapture. Like a huge like global so, so, <laughs> sorry god we got to stay here and record <laughs> like a, a meteor comes and like like sorry heat wave and <laughs> destruction we we have a podcast to record yeah it's like we can't be inconvenienced by your extinction level event yeah sorry <laughs> uh but yeah so episode 84 um kind of some cool things and not so cool things happening <laughs> in the near and farther future Oh, well, not cool things. I don't know. A lot of the cool things seem to be going on. Well, there's some not cool things we'll talk about later. Oh, some, yeah. Some, some things that we'd rather not things be Things that make not. me want to kill myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, so. uh, we should make that a segment <laughs> on here. Things that make me want to kill myself. Yes, so we'll definitely. Yeah. Well, we have a segment called Stop It. Oh, okay. where, so that's kind of the thing. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll upgrade it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like, that's like level one, but level two is like. Like there's things that we want to stop, and there are things that like that are happening that we just want to kill ourselves. Yeah. All right. I, I, I guess it should be mentioned that uh, Fish is not with us today. Yes, he's <laughs> he's quite busy, or he's just very quiet. We yeah. don't know. He he could be around. Um, he's quite busy today. <laughs> yes. There. Yeah. So uh, so it's just going to be me and Jason for this episode, and we we didn't stream it because we didn't feel like it, or do video. So and our apartment's kind of a mess, so we didn't want to stream that because of you. Um, but uh, <laughs> but first things first. Um, we're recording this on Sunday, and tomorrow NASA is going to be announcing something about Mars. Huge They're, announcement! It says, apparently. yeah, some some uh, something about Mars that's big. So there's all this speculation surrounding the announcement. So it could be. So I mean, it could be earth shattering. <laughs> I, I hope we not. found a we found a we big found a earth shattering we, device we found a, a gun pointed at earth and we're like <laughs> <laughs> a rather large gun it's like why didn't you tell us sooner it's like we we said it's earth shattering how it's how like, big is a gun it's a 50 acre caliber <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so there's speculation so it could be something so kind of they're, like they're the, building it up quite the, a bit yeah so it, it's yeah because there's like they've tweeted it out and said all this stuff but probably this episode will be out after the announcement so we could be wrong about everything yeah but, but I mean, speculation I mean, that like that's, the that's big the thing point. That, that's uh, that's what's getting us talking right now exactly the big <laughs> thing the big thing i would say is life like like actually yeah. living life that would be like like even if it's like ridiculous. microbial, yeah, like minuscule in nature, it's still life on it's, another planet. Yeah, it's still crazy. Um, so, but it, so that could be one thing. Another thing it could be is like evidence of life, mm -hmm. um, or water, like something like yeah. that. Like uh, you were saying. Well, I mean, there's already been evidence of water. like there's I mean, ice. Yeah, there's already evidence that there used to be water on Mars yeah. at some point. Well, there's there's so, ice there, but it's probably like space ice where it's like. Like not technically water super or something. toxic. It's just like frozen like, dirt or something. Yeah, I don't like know. Frozen chlorine. Exactly. Yeah. But so like, like flowing water, like, and that's like one of the biggest like. I I things, I, I like, almost want to think it's wa they're gonna find like a some kind of wa like subterranean yeah. water source. Yeah. Or I mean, even like crazier, it's like. We found like this city. Mm, there's a splash town. <laughs> <laughs> splash town is a water theme park wa in San it's a, it's San a water Antonio. Park. <laughs> San Antonio and Not apparently only Mars. Did we find water. We found a splash town. <laughs> we found a water park. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, but the lines are crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I'm trying not to think about it too much because I think it's gonna. I, I really hope it's not just some mundane news. Yeah, and it possibly could be. I mean, it possibly yeah. just could be something like, um, and they're just building it up because of this day and age. You have to build up every announcement or you won't get any coverage. But yeah. it could be something like the the uh, like acidity, maybe like, acidity levels in the dirt were 
different than what we expected. It's like yeah, I mean, lesser like they, more. They might say like, like, oh, the soil's viable to grow food on. Yeah, or something like, like certain like certain areas you can. That grow still food would be on. Pr- that still would be pretty. Yeah, cool. I but, mean that would be like, hey, not, we can now go to Mars. Not something that requires like. Yeah, it's not <laughs> something uh, that would be something that they would like announce. Just really kind of quickly. Be yeah, like, oh, they by wouldn't, the way, they wouldn't hold like a press conference and like stream no. it. And re- there, no, there's something else going on here. So I wonder that's if good. Uh, that's good because I wonder if the damn government is going to come in and shut it down. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like the feds. It's like <laughs> huge feds Mars them. Mars news. They're shutting down NASA. Yeah. It's like what? <laughs> like we had just to, ahead of the Mars, <laughs> just ahead of NASA's press conference on Mar on their Mars discovery. <laughs> the feds have closed down NASA. <laughs> Or something crazy, or it's like, all right, we found this guy, and they just um, alien just walks on the on yeah. the stage. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll be working tomorrow morning, and and if that happens, I might just be like, you know, I'm gonna go home. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm a little traumatized. <laughs> life life has no meaning if if aliens exist. I'm like, well, what? not necessarily. I'll just be like, hey, other <laughs> other galactic civilizations, can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the big question I have is like, can I get can I get a ship and just leave? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Earth is pretty cool. I mean, it's there's we're doing bad things to it and ruining it. But that's the big bad stuff isn't going to happen like in our lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> like it's we're it's one of those things like, like sucks, sun's not sucks to be implode. you in the future. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the, that's, sun's, the sun's not going to implode for us. Yeah, like well, that's another ten yeah. billion years yeah, or so. something. Like, you know, I'd really don't have to worry about this. <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, and there's I, no. Uh, I guess that's the kind of mentality that's like going to end up killing everybody. <laughs> is that we always just think, you know, that's not going to happen for like another hun- like you know, hundred thousand years. Well, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Even even like government stuff, it's like social security like shouldn't last. Like, it's like it's like months away from ending or like years away from ending. But the mm. people who made it were like, well, we're not going to have to worry about that. Yeah. It's like, whatever. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's it's just hu- like, that's my reti- it's just like all the people that have like crippled our economy and they're like, well, we're not going to have to worry about unemployment yep. and uh, inflation. Cause I'll be dead. Yep. Uh, it's like, it's like great. It's you like, know, my one bedroom ac- apartment cost me $1,500 a month now. Like all the old people are just like laughing at little babies. Like <laughs> you're going to have a hard life. You yeah, it's basically <laughs> sucks to be you. Enjoy that lollipop now. To. Yeah. Cause then the Martians are going to come and take it from you. <laughs> Or maybe the Martians will come and solve all of our problems. So we're like, yeah. here's fusion technology. <laughs> and here's and technology so no one ever has to work ever. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa. All right. Thanks. Right, thanks. I guess. Uh, <laughs> so war against Mars? Right? Yeah, uh, war? 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 Yeah, yes. That yes. Would be, uh, America's response is immediate aggression against Mars. <laughs> Well, yeah. What? Well, like we're here to offer peace. I'm like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Bring us to our leader. He's <laughs> terraform. <laughs> yes, <laughs> take it's me like to your leader. He wants to assassinate the president. <laughs> nuke, nuke Mars. What was that? Uh, Elon Musk on Stephen Colbert. He was all like, like there's. He was talking about colonizing Mars, and he was saying like, there's two ways to do it. There's a slow way and a fast way, mm-hmm. and Stephen. Or Colbert was like, "What's the fast way?" And he's like, "Nuke Mars." <laughs> it's like you, if you, because what needs to happen is you need to uh, um, heat up the atmosphere or mm-hmm. heat up the, the the planet or something like that. And he's like, the, "Like, there's a slow way. The fast way is to nuke the poles, like just send so for, like force a polarity change or something." Well, you you'd heat up the atmosphere or something like that. You heat, heat up something cause it's cold. Well, I mean, in, in all reality though, that's not even really a fast way. Cause then you have to deal with like radioactive fallout. <laughs> yeah. You know, or that'll speed up s- stuff. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know, you know, who knows we might nuke Mars and you know, it becomes a lush world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, we've, we've seen evidence of that on yeah, I mean, stuff we've nuked, I mean, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Japan's totally fine. <laughs> they're thriving. <laughs> it seems Hiroshima. They're, they're great. Oh no. Yeah. yeah they're awesome. <laughs> so you're welcome. Oh, no. You're welcome. That's Japan. Terrible. Oh, <laughs> I need to cut all this out. I, this is what Jason, so, he's a bad influence so on me. So we've successfully uh, justified <laughs> us nuking Japan in World oh. War II. <laughs> yes, that is yes. one. <laughs> now let's just go through all the other American atrocities and justify everything. <laughs> slash not atrocities. Well, I mean, I'm not. Humanitarian gonna, efforts. <laughs> you may, yeah, so let's talk about America's humanitarian efforts in Vietnam. 
<laughs> it was yeah it was you saw forrest gump i don't know there <laughs> fake movie <laughs> but uh okay <laughs> so so, real. so yeah the uh mars thing that's gonna be happening the day we release this episode uh, so yeah, tomorrow it says 11 a, eastern yeah 11 says, so that will be like eastern time we tried to figure that out we never looked it up right if it's so yeah 11 eastern would be I, 10 for us here in central time zone yeah, that and makes then, sense because like California nine, is like two hours behind us. Yeah, and nine and nine or eight o'clock so in, the e- in the east. So they're ahead of us. Yes. So okay, yeah. So ten o'clock, we'll release this episode probably later than that. Actually. Yeah, and then you fine. can just compare it to see how right or wrong we well, are. I mean, we we can't make any like actual guesses. Like the most educational guess is like that it's going to be small. Like it's not going to be a huge thing. Like it's 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 going to be. I, I just don't understand the build up if it's not going to be a huge announcement. Yeah, they they did say it's a major announcement or something like that. So I mean, that that's not something NASA tends to do is make is is come out and say, hey, we have a major announcement. Mm-hmm. They'll like even when they discovered like the frozen water or, or like uh, like crevices where they think like a river or something may have been found. It wasn't like a huge. Yeah, but this day and age... It wasn't a huge thing. Like, but I would think they, like, these, this day and age, everything has to be big. Like, Mm. like, they have to make everything big. Especially, like, with, like, all the other news that's happening in the world. Like, like... Maybe if it's, uh, maybe, like, we've been in contact, (sighs) maybe we've been in contact with, um galactic civilizations for years and now they're just finally like okay we can tell everybody yeah yeah it's like finally earth's ready like there yeah. was some there was yeah. some uh <laughs> something uh, the like pope, something the that pope happened made his recent- rounds <laughs> so that, that was the uh the pope is the um catalyst yeah like his, like his cuban american tour yeah <laughs> is yeah, the, the catalyst <laughs> for uh, intergalactic travel <laughs> it's like, and communication it's like the pope like like didn't want to like the Pope knows. He gave he I, gave sure, his consent. I'm to, pretty sure the Pope knows. <laughs> like, so yeah, like that's he, what like the, when he went to Congress, he gave his consent. Yeah, <laughs> to to expose extraterrestrial there is, life. There is the deleted like deleted video, like, and that's the part where he's you like, you know, you know, that would not doubt me at all because they can do. You know, there's people that are that can do that edit on the fly. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, yeah, it's 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 just live. They would just cut it or it's all it was all fake what they showed us <laughs> the pope <laughs> wasn't actually there he was yeah. just at his house yeah well the pope was in america but in a covert no he wasn't like government <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as the pope <laughs> nothing exists <laughs> the pope is a lie <laughs> that's that's new nasa's announcement yeah or there we or, found the pope on mars <laughs> the real pope yeah <laughs> this this pope is an alien his his head Maybe is actually that's shaped. where like once all the popes are done with their papacy, they go to <laughs> they Mars. go to the Mars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the uh, the um, Vatican space program. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, but speaking of Mars stuff, The Martian that movie is going to be coming out, Indeed. and I am so excited. It looks so good, and the book was so good. I well, I hope. It's good because the book was really good. Like I've never been in the position where I've like read a book before a movie comes out. Yeah, well, not not really. I don't think it so. It should be interesting for you then. Not really. I don't remember any, and I would never go back and read a book from a movie because I'm like I already saw the movie. I don't care. I tried watching or reading Harry Potter, but I like the first one. I got like a couple pages in. I was like, I saw all this already. I, this this was in the movie. Well, I had the unique privilege of reading all the books before watching the movies. Before any of the movies came out. Or? Well, no, I mean that would have been impossible because the last book. Oh well, yeah. Was but already the last book wasn't out before the movies. Were, so you all the movies were finished, obviously. So so the movies were out, and you read read the books before well, you watched any of them. The uh, the last one, the death, like each each of the books came out well before their movie adaptations did. Yeah. Um but I I mean that with uh, with all of those I read all the books like 
either side by side with seeing the movie or I read them before. I mean, obviously, yeah. with like the first three Harry Potter books, uh, uh-huh. um, Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Azkaban, and all that, like all those were out before the movie adaptations of them. Mm-hmm. So, it's so like, you read it's all like, those? Three? Yeah, I read all those three, and then I read, I mean, I read all the books before I saw the movies. Uh, the movie counterparts. Okay. Well, that's 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 better. That's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, because that. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I, I can't I, think I, of any others. Like, but uh, I mean, I'm 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 the opposite of you though. Like, if I see a movie and I'm like, especially if it's like a classic film, and I'm uh-huh. like, oh, there's a book based that this is based off of, like, um, <sighs> The Godfather is based off of series of books. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, these are like critically acclaimed movies, except for number three. Um, <laughs> So I kind of want to read it to see where they got the source material from. Because it's not always the same story. Yeah, but it's better. I mean, the same thing as Jaws. Like, Jaws has like... They uh, took the Jaws good has a manuscript. Uh-huh. For the, there's a book for Jaws. Yeah. Uh, Stephen King's It. Yeah, well, yeah. Stephen Which King, I mean... Like, the Shining. Like, yeah. All, all I, the... I, I mean... I mean, the, the obvious thing with like Stephen King stuff is that... If you if you ever read the book it, mm-hmm. and then watched the film adaptation uh-huh. with uh, Tim Curry and uh, you know that's all who I can remember that was in it. Oh. Yeah, I, don't, I never <laughs> saw it. Oh, um, Ritter, John Ritter was in that. Oh, was I, in it. I never never watched um, it. I, but I, yeah, you you read the book and you realize how much stuff they cut out. Like what was essential to the story that was cut. Otherwise, it'd be like a you know. A sixteen-hour film. Yeah, so they took the good parts from the book and made I made know, the movie. There, there's that, there's plenty of good parts. No, in in the in then the in the book, if it was so good. Why they couldn't they put, put it? In the movie? They, well, they couldn't exactly because they would have because they like they there's probably well yeah the books can afford to do like multiple plot lines and stuff like that. Yeah, and I the mean, book just like takes like the main one probably yeah. or the movie takes the main one. I mean, there there's a whole. I mean, other backstory to it, yeah. Like, like how they defeat him, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It's a lot more complex than what they did in the movie. What did they do in the movie? Spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, like they just like shot hit him? it with like silver. Oh. Uh, like the first time they beat him, they shot him with silver, and they thought he was dead. What, what like that was when they were kids. Was what was the deal about him? What what is the backstory? Like he, I know, like he can take the shape of your fears or something, right? Yeah, he he can basically take whatever shape he likes. Uh-huh. Um, oh God, it's been so long since I've read the book, and I okay. have it in the other room. Uh huh. Go read it real uh, quick. We'll wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get through these like nine hundred pages, <laughs> in real quick. Because yeah, because it, it's kind of it was kind of like um. An origin story like, or something. Like, is he a demon or an alien? Like, what? I, at some point in the story, they're talking about the great turtle. Like, the reason the universe came to be is because the great turtle had, like, indigestion and vomited the universe into being. And it was just kind of like the polar opposite of, like, this creator. And I'm like, well, that was kind. that's kind of a great, you know, origin story to the universe is that we're just some cosmic entities, like, vomit. Yeah, well, there's all those <laughs> weird, like, cosmic origin stories. Like, like the, uh, like, there's another turtle one where, or was it, a, yeah, turtle. It's like, we're, we're just a turtle on the top of a turtle. We're, we're, like, Earth is just on a turtle oh, shell. Um, and it's like... That uh, that was Aladdin. That was uh, the third Aladdin movie. Oh, Aladdin, well, the King of Thieves. Like they go find like the goal. Like they go find this palace or whatever, and just like a giant turtle. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, because they keep because the cur- turtle keeps diving underwater, and they uh-huh. only have like a limited amount of time to uh, like go yeah. on and go there. Other yeah, drown. that's like some religion's origin story for the Earth. It's we're we're just on top of a turtle shell, and it's like, what's the turtle on? It's like another turtle, and it's just like turtles all the way down. Like what's up? What's the uh, deity of a turtle? You know, like what? Why is it such? Why is it so high on? Why is it so high on the hierarchy? Because they're cool. <laughs> like you know what turtles? That's they. <laughs> turtles it, it's are just the, something innate in our psyche that like maybe turtles that guy cool. got it wrong. Like what's the like what's the uh, uh, what's the meaning of the universe? Turtles. 
Yeah, I guess uh, they got it wrong. Like, <laughs> whenever that, that yeah, zombie hitchhiker's kid... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy got it wrong. Yeah. Like, whenever, uh, like, the that little kid, like, the zombie makeup, like, that viral video, and they're like, oh, uh, what'd you get your, your face painted at, or wh- whatever the question was, and he was like, I like turtles. And it's like, he... he He's he's Jesus. He, he knows he knows what's up. He knows he knows. But but yeah, in in the book, there's this whole ritual that they have to go through, uh-huh. and just it, it's it's much more intricate, okay, than what they what they portrayed in the film. Which I mean, the film was fine. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I still I still like it a lot. I think I started watching it, it but then I stopped because I'm like, why am I watching this? Like, I got to the point where. Like he was in the storm drain. Like that's like the opening scene where he's yeah, like, that's like right at the beginning. I stopped. I, that's all I remember ever seeing from it. Oh man, yeah. You where he was like Georgie, Georgie, and whenever I see a storm drain now nowadays, I always say like to myself, yeah, you gotta, you Georgie. gotta, you gotta finish it. No, man. I don't like scary movies. It's not, dude. It's not scary at all. It, it is scary. He's a he's vomit from a turtle. That's scary. Well, <laughs> you'll know he's not vomit from a turtle. Oh, we're, 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 we're all we're, vomit from turtle. We're all vomit. Yeah, we're <laughs> all we just parasites. Make that, we, we need to make that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> we're all just turtle vomit. Let's get along. Yeah. <laughs> Keep calm and remember your turtle vomit. Um, shirts available on... But anyway, the, Mar- <laughs> the Martian. Yeah, the uh, Martian. <laughs> Um, Speaking looks, of books to movies, looks it. really good. Yeah, and I'm ex- like I read or I I listened to the audiobook, so technically I haven't even read the book. Jimmy can't read. I can't read. I listen to everything or watch it. That's why <laughs> I, I say I don't read book movies or movie books because I can't read. Well, he said it, folks. <laughs> Not me. Uh, it's a big day for me. I did say it. I should have. Announce this, like NASA <laughs> yeah, did. I should have said, and I should have made this announcement. <laughs> there'll be a big, <laughs> there'll be a big announcement, big, big Jimmy announcement yeah. on. Uh, NASA <laughs> has announced that Jimmy Hughes cannot read. No, I can't read. <laughs> prove it. No, ah. I, I shouldn't have to prove it. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, The Martian. I I'm really excited for it. I wasn't on board. Well, I was kind of like skeptical about Matt Damon being the person, but he seems fine in the trailers. Whatever. <laughs> I yeah, didn't. I, I never. I didn't picture Matt Damon when I was reading the book, but I didn't really picture anybody. I pictured just like a what they described. Just a guy. <laughs> just, well, yeah. I mean, he's well, just what the author described. Is what they you probably uh, described him as like Matt, like Matt Damon. Like not didn't say like he looked like Matt Damon, but <laughs> this <laughs> astronaut kind of looks like Matt. Damon. But like Matt Damon is just like but it's average, not Matt like Damon. A, just a guy. He's yeah. like he's a guy, average build, brown hair face like oh well that's matt damon if you think about it that's matt damon is av- average human yeah i mean i think i'll see it i mean kind of based on your recommendation but i think it'll be a movie i'll wait till it comes out uh, and then, like get it on vod or pick up a blue pick up like a bargain bin blu-ray did copy you ever, did you ever see um apollo 13 or apollo 11 the tom hanks movie yeah apollo 13. yeah yeah i like that a lot yeah like do you know the scene where they're like they uh don't remake it <laughs> it's in it's in the works but it's um uh the part where like they had to like convert the oxygen or they they needed a part to convert ox- the carbon dioxide into oxygen or something like that. Yeah, and they didn't have it, so the all the NASA engineers they, like, threw ma- all the stuff on MacGyver- the table. Yeah, they MacGyvered it. They MacGyvered it. It's a whole movie of that kind of stuff. Mm. So like the there is a, a really good inter- and I, we've I've talked about this before. There's an interview with the author on Tested dot com with Adam Savage, like interviewing him, mm-hmm. and he talks about like. That's his favorite part of that movie, and he's like, "I just want to write a book, like with that, like just with the, around that kind of stuff." So that's what he did. He, well, he he wrote a yeah, he wrote a book, and uh, it's it's just like that kind of stuff, like problem solving and stuff like that, mm-hmm. trying to figure out how you can survive on Mars, and it's all rooted in reality, and it's it's a whole big thing because it turns into like a huge like world event, like the like the world like unites in mm. in there trying to get them home so it it seems really good all the trailers look amazing uh, the cast there's a lot of cool people in the cast like uh donald glover like uh the guy yeah i i, I saw him in one of the trailers like oh i didn't know he was in that. yeah he's he has a a pretty big part 
he he's not the person I imagined whenever I read the book for the part that he plays. Um, they they did a lot of re- like, like sort of like like very ra- um, like liberal eth- casting, like ethnic changes. Racist. Well, yeah, maybe <laughs> not. Maybe not racist, but but uh, they Americanized everyone. Like everyone's American or the parts because the audiobook the person who read it uh read it read it right like what they're supposed to be like uh like the the main guy is supposed to be kind of like indian mm-hmm. like uh um uh, from india like i think like that that kind of accent yeah and in the movie i think he's played by like that jeff bridges guy or whatever his name is the guy that was in a uh, dumb and dumber yeah jeff i know no, is that the guy? Yeah. Jeff Bridges or something like that. Kevin Bridges or uh, Jeff Bridges or is I don't, Lebowski. I, well, the Br- Bridges guy. He was the guy who was in Newsroom and Dumb and Dumber. Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. I was Jeff right. Jeff Daniels. I was perfectly correct. I will Not edit this. Not right at all. Wait. Say, say nothing for a second. Jeff Daniels. Oh. Yeah. I will edit <laughs> we'll this. Edit it out. I will edit this to make me look like a By genius. By the way, if you haven't watched the Newsroom with Jeff Daniels do it it's really good yeah. it's it's uh Promotion. There, there's some there's there's some uh flack that it got for how it handled some situations but overall it's a pretty good pretty good show and kind of a fictionalized version of a newsroom because newsrooms yeah, aren't it, like that. they're never that efficient <laughs> trust me <laughs> yeah it's uh, like, you know how they actually talk to their their their, their co-workers yeah. and yeah. communicate no doesn't happen <laughs> fictional uh, but uh but yeah but yeah with the martian like i said i i'll probably watch it once i'm in the comfort of my own home yeah but i'm just as i as i'm getting older i'm very peculiar about what i what movies i go out and see like if i watch a trailer for it and i am not, I'm not immediately grabbed by it uh-huh. then i don't care to see it yeah um like there- most of what comes to theaters for me like Four out of five times, it looks like cr- garbage. Yeah, the last one I saw was Jurassic World. Yeah, and I I saw Jura- like when I saw the trailer for Jurassic World, like oh wow, this looks really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I agree. I it would have to be a pretty good movie, and that even that movie was kind of like to see it in theaters. I was just like, eh, because it was so packed. I, like my yeah, the, I, I mean like, I, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, it yeah. was. It was. I. I don't like that at all. Which I hate. Is, you know, hate when I went and people. saw Ant Man, there was like ten people in there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that that'd be that'd be really good unless they sat near me. Like, like I hate the people. Like that's one thing that I hate. Uh, like going to the movies, even even like a less crowded theater, the people that still sit around p- people. Like like just well, I, put some space in, but like well, make there a row buffer between everyone like i mean sometimes i go to the movies by myself if like people have already seen the movie like if i'm late to uh-huh. seeing something or if i'm gonna go see something no one else wants to see yeah. you know just to get out you know sort of thing well yeah i see get out to go inside somewhere yeah i so i see movies by myself all the time uh, and i always it's, get in there like you know it's always one of these things i'll go see a matinee and there's not a lot of people in there mm-hmm. and i'll find my perfect seat like right in, right in the middle yeah you know just high up enough mm-hmm and as soon like I I swear to God, every time some people walk in there, they always look at where I'm sitting. Yeah, and they're just like that son of a bitch. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> he's got the perfect seat in the house, and like I'm the only one in there. And like he just has to move because there's uh-huh. two of us, and like there's there's usually two optimal seats uh-huh. in that like in that golden area. Yeah, and like he's just ruining it for all the couples <laughs> coming oh. in there to try to see this oh. movie. It's first come first serve, obviously. That's well, no, like. I, I'm waiting. Would you ever for, I'm move? waiting. You no, I would never move. He wouldn't move. Like unless, like if the only reason I would move, unless it was like a super packed theater and there was two seats and there was a couple. Yeah, and there was like a one seat somewhere else. Like then I would move, of course. Unless it was like right down in front, and then I'd be like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, that would kind of that would kind of suck. But I don't because they they need to put recliners in the chairs in front. I I guess I would or build the theaters with more room between the first row and the and the uh in the screen but i would have to be put in that situation to see what i would do because um, i i'm so courteous that i would even i would probably do it hey I'd would probably you mind leaving the theater <laughs> so me and my friends could sit here I, it, um <laughs> what I, I might even do that and just 
<laughs> like, be like, I need to avoid like, the whole situation. Just, I don't know, because I'm I'm so nice. Like, I I would maybe do that and then ask for a refund or like a, a credit and then watch mm. it later. Like on a ne- like go maybe go eat. No, and I, come I, back. I I would like, I wouldn't go so far as to like leave. I'd, I'd be like, uh, I would try to find a seat. Obviously, I mean, like I say, if it's a super packed theater, I might like make a concession for like a group of people. If I'm by, if I'm by myself, you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, you're here with the group, sure. You yeah, know. sit together and then I'll find the. Yeah, I'll, I'll move. I'll move down or something. But if yeah. it's you know, if I'm in there by myself and there's you know and a bunch of empty seats, no, no, no I'm no, not gonna be either. like, no, absolutely not. Yeah, I, I'd. I, Actually, <laughs> I might even do it just because it's so weird of a thing. I'm like, if if they're weird enough to ask, it's that, like you weirded me out. Like I, I applaud you. Like I wouldn't want them to just like sit in front of me. Yeah. Like in a, I would would rather move. Like I'd rather get a less optimal spot than sit behind a group of people in a less like in a, uh, a not crowded theater. I- I, I don't That's, know. I mean, I've never. Re- I think I've maybe been asked that once in my mm, lifetime. I've I've been asked like if the seat's taken next to me or something, or can you scoot down to yeah. these two places? I, and I, I've done I, that. I've maybe been asked like once or twice in my entire lifetime about that. It's just so weird of an interaction in a less in a like where there's a, a theater with no one in it. Like that's just weird to me. And it's yeah, like, I hey, probably, this is my favorite so- seat. But, um. Okay. Yeah. See, I would, I would just be so weirded out by the situation that I'd probably just give into it. Just uh, be like, all okay, uh, right, uh, hey, sure. Uh, hey, buddy, I have an idea. Why don't you go? <laughs> yeah, you maybe should have thought of, uh, thought of uh, wanting a, a specific seat when you got here late, yeah. later than me. <laughs> you know. Yeah. See, that's what gets me too is people that go in the theaters late and mm-hmm. then they're just like, oh, I can't find a good seat. Like it's your own damn fault. Yeah. Like yeah, sit in front. That's what you get. That's your punishment. For for your lack of imagine, planning, imagine if they had the gall to come, like someone came into a theater late and then had the gall to come ask you for your seat. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. I, I, you know, I I think I would be on the point of being courteous and just like be kind of you know really crass with them. Yeah, I like especially if they got abrasive about it, like, hey man, let me. Yeah, you know, like I'd I would try like, to avoid you know, that situation, like. Like I'd like purposely not make eye contact with them or something. <laughs> like I would like, like in my mind I'd be screaming like, "Don't, don't walk over here! Don't walk <laughs> don't over here! Don't look at me! Don't like, look at me! Don't look I'm at like, me!" Like I look at him. You he, know, like, all it takes look. A, he, he he looks like a guy that would ask someone randomly. You for know, their and, seat. and all is it all it takes is that split second of eye contact for them like, to be like, like, "That's him." It's like <laughs> <laughs> opportunity. That's <laughs> yeah. That guy looks down the. It's like if someone's like that guy sell- looks weak. It's like if someone's selling something on like the access road by a highway. Yeah. Like you just have uh, to kind of like look away. You know. You'd, I hate that. I hate because you know as soon as you make any sort of eye contact, they're gonna be like, "That's yeah, my guy." I'm just like I'm focused on this guy's bumper in front of me. Yeah, there that's why I always you know try to have a pair of sunglasses because that way they don't know which uh, way I'm looking. I could yeah. be staring right at them and they wouldn't know. <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a perversion. Yeah, <laughs> it gets it gets Jason off. Yeah. Oh no. But I mean, it would be one of those things if someone asked me that, I'd be like, you know, sir, I was able to bleep your mom, and I still got here early enough <laughs> to get my seat. So no. <laughs> Wow, I could actually see you saying you're here, like you know, picture you, it, you know, that. I normally wouldn't, but if I was in like a really bad mood and someone <laughs> was being like rude like that, yeah, I probably would say something like that to somebody. Uh, yeah, it, it's just it's just one of those weird situations that I'd just be so weirded out by it that I might just <laughs> give in to what they ask because I'm like, there, I I never knew there was such a person that would do this <laughs> <laughs> i never knew there was like, <laughs> like <I'd laughs> it would be it would be truly a situation for like well i never <laughs> exactly <laughs> like, like whoa i've never heard someone actually say that not in a movie <laughs> you know it's also and never gonna happen in what, a movie what will smith being in men in black four yeah that's kind of he those i like men in black movies like the the three were good the 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 third one was all right i don't remember i think i was a little I was older, so it, they they kind of made it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The I first don't really two remember really the third. I don't think I saw the third one. Uh, the third one was good. It had um, you know, the guy from Flight of the yeah, Con- Josh, Concords. Uh, well, oh. <laughs> no, I know Josh uh, Brolin was. Josh in it. Brolin was 
was K, young K. Um, but uh, Tommy Lee Jones' it's character. But uh, the guy from uh, Flight of the Concords, Jermaine Clement, mm-hmm. uh, I, uh, he's he's also in some other stuff. Uh, uh, Gentleman Broncos, he was the writer in that. He was Eagle versus Shark. He was the main guy in that. Oh, he's man. he's and uh, anyway. <laughs> well, I will no. What we do in the shadows? That vampire movie <laughs> yeah, that we yeah, watched. Yeah. He's he was one of the vampires. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but uh, but he was the bad guy in it. Yeah, um, and uh, it was like time travel. Like they went back in time. It was it was fun. I, it was fine. I I don't know. The first Men in Black I thought was really good. I liked that a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, and, and then they was, it was just diminishing returns after that. I think. Yeah, no, I agree. The first one was really good. The second one was okay, and the third one was. You know, maybe since the if they got rid of most of the original cast from the first three movies, and mm-hmm. maybe another writer, or director, or something. Maybe a fourth one. I mean, if it's less of a sequel, more of a reboot. Yeah, I would could actually do well. Yeah, I, 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 I like Will Smith. Like a lot of his movies, I really like. But I don't know if he's really like. I don't know if anyone else couldn't play like that character. Yeah, or I mean, he, because it's a government agency. Fighting and finding aliens, you know, they just need, saving the world. They need some kind of you know smart ass, hard at you know good, you know, not yeah. necessarily good cop bad cop, but just sort of like hard nosed kind of character and then and a smart the, ass. And yeah, so I mean, basically like bad the, boys, but the with aliens. Yeah, the it could be. There's an idea. We'll get Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. I wonder what Martin Lawrence is doing. I heard there might be another Bad Boys. Yeah, there's supposed to be Bad Boys number three and four. Yeah, I heard there's. But yeah, more uh, than Will coming. Smith, and Martin Lawrence as the new Men in Black. Well, we, we Will Smith is already not going to be in it, or so far it's not going to be in it. Like it'd still be, you know, that'd be pretty cool. No, no, I'd be <laughs> fine. I'd, it, I'd be good. I'd I'd be like, why they they did good with just action? Why why throw aliens in the mix? Like I'd rather see another Bad Boys than a well, maybe Men the next Black. Bad Boys will be like have aliens. A in. Bad Boys Men in Black crossover. Yeah, that'd be fine. they would be like, Jay, what are you doing here? Like, who's Jet? <laughs> you know, he got his memory wiped or something. And <laughs> yeah, like it's a whole backstory. Like it's basically Men in Black Two all over again, um, just with Bad Boys mixed in. Exactly. I would. I would. I would watch I mean, it. I, I, I don't suspect Tommy Lee Jones is coming back for a fourth. No, I don't even think he wanted to do a second one. No, I, 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 I always heard like he's like real mean, like he's a crotchety, like a crotchety old guy. I mean, he lives here in Texas, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, I th- yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know where. if he lives here in San Antonio. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I know. I, 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 yeah, I, I've heard the same thing that people that have encountered him. That he's not a very nice person. Not a nice person. So, I don't know why that doesn't really matter, but that's fine if he is that way. I, I mean, would, I, I would imagine hope. if he, I, I imagine maybe some of these people are like heckling him, and then he just like snapped at him or something. Like they're yeah. like, "Hey, can you give me this autograph?" He's like, "No, you know, sorry." Yeah. Well, I'm not yeah. That's do that. Like, hey, can I get a picture? He's like, "No." Well, yeah. There's... And they just keep asking him, and he eventually you know, goes off. I mean, that I get. Yeah, and I mean. I've never been in that situation where I've been like famous or anything like that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a normal person, but you'd have to figure that it would be annoying. Like, yeah. like there'd be t- days or like moments, like you're with your family or something. You don't want to ma- deal with all that. Yeah, so like that's it, when you'd be short with people. You know, if you catch celebrities at like a funeral or something, don't run up and be like, "Oh, can I get your autograph? Can you take a selfie, a funny selfie? Do do that." That, that funny face thing. you do in a uh, in that movie. Yeah, do the, do the thing you do. Like <laughs> uh, we're burying like, my mother. Uh, yeah. Here. So <laughs> yeah. So there's there's moments where I would be kind of like that. But and if he's older and that's just, just his personality, then yeah. that's that's fine. Whatever. Who it's it's doesn't matter. Um. But uh. But yeah. Man in Black Four. I'll. I like that world. That universe. Mm. That, with where aliens exist and all that kind of stuff. I'm in the sci-fi stuff so uh probably be okay i guess it, X-Files. they could x files yeah we were just watching that before i've never seen any of them good stuff man i i don't know why because i've i guess i've always thought it was t- like a s- more uh skewed towards scary 
That's no, why I never like I said, there, there are some disturbing bits that are just like, man, that makes me kind of uncomfortable, but yeah. never anything just like, uh, uh. I mean, I, I like, no. like, I like that kind of stuff, like the, the aliens and like the, the sci-fi kind of stuff. I've always liked that stuff, so I don't know why I never did it. It's just because I thought it was scary. Never seen any of the episode. That episode we watched was the only episode I've ever seen. And it was ridiculous because it was a ridiculous <laughs> episode. But if it's all kind of, if it's, it's, because it's like a crime procedural with aliens. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's sort of, it's the same sort of thing. You got a straight edge cop, well, mm-hmm. straight edge FBI working with sort of more eccentric, you know, supernaturally inclined person. And I like David Duchovny. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Californication. If you ever saw that show, that's really good. Yeah, he's got some new show, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, and uh, I, I have it. I haven't watched it. But yeah, it's look about for the, the uh, return of X Files. Yeah, the, next the, year, the miniseries, next like, January. Okay, so it's that soon. Mm-hmm. Um, that's cool. So maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I'll try to get through. How many seasons? Do you know how many seasons of X Files? Nine seasons. Nine seasons. Two hundred and two episodes. All right, I can probably get through so that. So roughly about days. roughly a little more than twenty episodes a season. Oh, uh, I can get that through that in a couple of days. Uh, well, speaking of funny faces at funerals, or Jeff Daniels, I guess we're building up to this. <laughs> yes, the, uh, the his, thing his that co- we his co star in things that make me want to kill myself. <laughs> uh, the, there the are of stop it. Yeah, there are uh, reports that there may be a remake of Ace Ventura. Oh, mm. I the the why do like, you do like this? I've said a hundred times before? I'm not the sh- the biggest opponent for remakes and reboots. Like some of them are okay, some some work. But the thing with that movie is, like Jim Carrey was perfect for that role. Yeah, and we don't have an actor like Jim we Carrey. Don't, these we, days. we don't have someone of his caliber. They would have to change the know. character. Like they would, and that's like the reason why Ace Ventura was funny. And even kind of I I bet I could probably still watch it and still enjoy it. It wasn't yeah. it's not something that I had to be a kid to enjoy. They were still uh, Yeah, I mean there were still uh there's plenty uh, of adult 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 at, themes. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, especially the first one. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, Einhorn and his Finkel, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the he whole reveal cl- scene. Yeah, he burns his clothes. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, Cries but naked but the thing the is, like, who would, like, who would take the mantle? Because well, it, you said uh, Carrie apparently has nothing to do with it. Uh, for, well, yeah, that's the the that if they they the do thing a remake that I that Ace a, Ventura, will, uh, like Jim without Carrey. Jim Carrey's involvement. I don't see. <laughs> Uh, we were. I was actually talking with this about uh, Ace Ventura um, with a coworker, and we were saying, I "Wonder how that movie was made because it's like built around Jim Carrey's persona. Did someone actually go in and write it? Like, and then you you talk out of your butt for this scene? Like, like did yeah, they? Or like, was he just like, you know what? I'm gonna do whatever I want. Yeah. Like, did they just write an outline? It's like you're trying to solve. Or uh, well, like a dolphin, or yeah, the first one was yeah, there was a dolphin stolen. It's like, and you're trying to find a dolphin. <laughs> it's like, and then it's like you're you're a pet detective trying to find a dolphin. Go, like do do scenes, yeah, do like, what you do. Best. How can you how can you write like that? Because he's it's so physical and visual humor. It's like I mean, a written, lot of the physicality I think has a lot of that credit. I think goes to Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. Um. But then again, who knows as far as like the writing is concerned? Yeah, like I'm sure. I mean, I I I'd almost half expect with the um, with Dumb and Dumber Dumb and Dumber Two. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think it did terribly well in theaters. You said you really liked it. I I, I thought. I mean, I thought. Or were, you liked it? I yeah. Did I thought like there it. was quite a few funny bits in it. Um, uh, yes, yes, I agree. But, but there was it critically acclaimed. No, I mean neither was the first Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, but I mean there was a lot of funny bits in that too. But it's not like oh, this movie. I think. You know, I think be all end all. The second one went too over the top, too silly, and made them too dumb. That's what I'm. I I don't remember it. I've watched it only once. But um, the second one, I thought like they they made them too dumb, and the actors were too old. To play that dumb, like the first yeah. one, they were dumb. Yes, 
and and that's what the movie was based on but they were still not terribly dumb like they could still like survive in the world like they had jobs bad at their jobs but they still had like the, the second one they were like hiding out in a mental facility or a, a mental facility well it was, to, well that was that was for a, a joke well, yeah that was a prank for one of them for like 20 years yeah that he pretended see that's to be ridiculous like that's over the top i think <laughs> it it's funny like the whole well i mean i think that was more of a plot device though just to explain the, the like, where they like where they've been for 20 years yeah but still like i like there it was just too ridiculous and too old for the people to still act that ridiculous and I just felt sorry. For yeah, it. I mean, you you look at something like the original Dumb and Dumber. It wasn't so much about like gross out humor that you s- saw a lot in the sequel. Mm-hmm. It was just more about you know, it was more about the everyday people that you see that are kind of stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, like the scene I remember is the the gas station thing when he comes out and he sees the guy has the big gulp. Yeah, and he says like he's like, oh, you got the big gulp, nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> and, you know that's something that would actually happen, yeah. you, and you as a bystander, you're like, "That was weird." I yeah. <laughs> like what? Like, like, why what is there the that person that? that exists? Yeah, and I funny you said that scene. Like that's one of the scenes that Jim Carrey improvised. Mm-hmm. Like like that wasn't at like there was supposed to be no interaction between those two. Like that <laughs> he just he just did that, and Big <laughs> so the, nice nice. <laughs> Um, See you later. I, and I'm sure a lot of that movie was improvised. A lot of the jokes and stuff were improvised and stuff. But but uh, I, but yeah, I, I think the first movie just had heart. The second one, like it felt like it didn't. And as much, God, that's what I just that's, because of his Parks and Rec history, maybe Pratt would be able to pull it uh, off as Ace Ventura. Maybe no, he would have to go. He, he would. He would have to up his physicality. The a thing lot. is, they would have to change the character. Yes, they can cast other people in that role, but I, they would have to change the character. Like it wouldn't. Like they could. Like they could do like a a gritty, a gritty, <laughs> a pet gritty detective. pet detective. They could yeah. do that. Someone well, murdered this. Dolphin. I mean, <laughs> and we need to find him and things things like that. Like they could. Do, like they could go that route, but i don't want them to like ace venture is funny because of jim carrey yeah like but i mean th- i mean that like really it, just it, speaks to the times though i mean slapstick humor isn't unfortunately as big as it it's was. Gone. yeah the visual physical comedy is gone it's all like a, i said this it, it they kind of went to the will ferrell model where um camera there's no movement in the camera there's people just standing talking at each other just throwing jokes back and forth like yeah. improv improv jokes like how will ferrell does his comedy like there there is some physical stuff getting hit with shovels or whatnot yeah. but but there it's all just them saying one thing and then the other person saying something funny back at them and they just keep the stamp cameras rolling and they just do line after line of comedy that's comedy these days unfortunately like the ace ventura like the jim carrey style of comedy like the liar liar yeah, it's, it, it's sort all of that gone. kind of stuff is yeah. is doesn't exist. Which anymore. I mean, well, what I was saying about Dumb and Dumber was, you know, he revisited this character. Mm-hmm. You know, it's twenty you know, some odd years later, and if they're doing an Ace Ventura reboot, you know, my first thought was like, oh, maybe he's coming back to revisit this character too. It's sort of like getting his Sylvester la- Stalloneing it. Yeah, sort of getting his last uh, ends with these characters. What 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 did Jim Carrey done recently? What was his well, last? Well, there's Dumb and Dumber too. Was his last movie? I before, believe. Before what was before that? Uh, Eternal. There was Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which was yeah. actually you know, no, yeah, like awesome. one of, like one of his best films. Yeah, uh, there was the horror movie that he was in, number uh, twenty three, number twenty three, and then he like Fun with Dick and Jane. Uh, yeah, Fun with Dick and Jane, um, Truman Show. Yeah, but with another Mr. Papa's Popper's Penguins or something I didn't see. Yeah, uh, I, Bruce I, Almighty I, was really good. Yeah, I say. I, I mean, Bruce Almighty still wasn't as heavy on the physical comedy, but, but still, yeah. like he did his. He still had his like funny quirks. I'm gonna look up his. What but, he's done. Real I mean, quick. to me, it'd be it'd be just as devastating if they were gonna say, "Oh, okay, well." We're going to do a reboot of The Mask. Mm-hmm. 
Like, yeah. who are there, you going to get to do it? Yeah, no, that's... Exactly who will... Who can match like they tr- they tried <laughs> his performance with, uh, in the mask Jamie Kennedy they did the mask junior or whatever it was like yeah. the, the other mask um I mean there was a mask cartoon yeah for a little while let's see but ju- I mean the mask was almost kind of the first movie of its kind mm-hmm. yeah well it's it was it was like a mix between cartoon like they threw a lot of cartoon references and stuff live action which was really good you know and I don't think anyone other than Jim Carrey could, can play the mask. Mm-hmm. Like that is mm, Stanley Ipkiss. Yeah, it's that's him. Like there's no there's no way around that. Yeah, there, I agree. There's there's because I don't, I don't believe there's any actor that can outperform Jim Carrey as the mask. Yeah, any well any in, the, in that in that role any f- like. Anything where there needs to be physical comedy, like he's like the physical, like skinny, lanky, yeah, guy doing weird movements with his body. Like no one does that anymore. Yeah, it's it's all like I said, just standing around doing nothing and just talking. Um, let's see, incredible Burt Wonderstone. He did in twenty thirteen. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, let's see, he was in, he he had cameos in like Anchorman two. Yeah, but his main like his the main role like that I think was his last one. Then Mr. Popper's Penguins in 2011. I love you, Philip Morris was 2009. That was a pretty good one. Um, he played a con man with uh, what was it, with Ewan McGregor. Or was it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, they're both like the, couple of gay convicts or something. Yeah, aren't they? yeah, they were. I remember hearing something about that. I mean, I never watched it. But. It's a pretty good one. He. It's based on a real story where, like, an actual guy actually was a con man and, like, broke out of prison several times, like, doing ridiculous things. Like, uh, uh, um, like changing the color of his suit with highlighter mm. to green. So they thought he was, like, a medical thing <laughs> and and escaped that way. And all kinds of stuff, like forging documents and but stuff. But I, I guess what we're getting to is stop it. Yeah, don't. I... <sighs> Like they ha- would have to change the character, which I don't want them to do. Like they could Stop go it. Chris Pratt and make him the swarmy uh, Star Lord sw- character you know, and it, make him a pet detective. But the thing is, but he's not the, he's not the physical actor that yeah. ju- he's not the physical character that Ace Ventura is. But that's what they could be doing. They could just change the character, which I I like Ace Ventura the way he is. Which, so they couldn't like if they just took the same script and just threw another character in that to do the same kind of stuff that Jim Carrey did. I don't think anyone could do that. But th- they'd have no. to remake it, re remake everything. The character. It. I mean, I guess it really kind of speaks to some, speaks to how actors work. I mean, it's like if you took somebody like Chris Pratt and we're like, okay, well, we're gonna put you in something real drama heavy, you know. And I, it kind of came off, you know, the same way in the number twenty three, like Jim Carrey's first horror film. Mm-hmm. It just came off really forced and ham fisted for him. I remember to watching play it. that character. I remember watching. I, now, as far as dramatic roles go, mm-hmm. like you know, we said Eternal Sunshine. You like, mm-hmm. yeah, holy crap! You know, yeah. really, really well done mm-hmm. on his part. I mean, same thing with Man on the Moon. Yeah, and you he, know, Truman he can, Show. He, he can, can he can do really well. Mm-hmm dramatically but when it comes to like when it comes to horror stuff i think he's just really out of his element and it comes off as ham-fisted and just too forced i have only work s- only saw number 23 once i don't remember it really at all like i remember him talking as that character like i remember scenes from that movie but not really anything plot wise yeah like, uh, but I mean, I think it'd just be the same thing with, um, with if Chris Pratt were to be were if they were to hand him the original script to Ace Ventura and be like, okay, well, we're gonna do a shot for shot remake. Do you do you're, and you're gonna stand in, still do all the physical yeah. stuff that Jim Carrey did. It, I think I, it, I think it would just be terribly forced, and mm-hmm. he wouldn't like because that's not who his actor I is. Mean, I I like Chris Pratt, and he. He did do some physical stuff in like Parks and Rec, um, like some physical comedy type stuff, kind of. But he really played just like the dumb, dumb character 
that he like a, a like the dumb kind of arrogant yeah, funny guy um guy with a heart of gold yeah um but uh i i can't see him doing that it the, no, like i said I, they have I, to they I, I have to change the character unfortunately he, that character really would only work as how jim carrey played it he, like, he's the closest i could even remotely think of being able to do it yeah, but I even can, though they would have to change drastically but I mean, there's no one else I can think of that would be able to do it. There, there may be someone out there, like a lesser well-known character or actor that could play it. I just can't think of anybody. Like all the, like the the people that you see in every movie, none of the people we don't have anyone like that. Yeah. Like there could be someone like the like <laughs> Miles Davis, like the guy who played mr fantastic mm. like he he's too he's not physical like i'm trying to think of other like young actors these you can days. get uh michael sarah to play his friend <laughs> <laughs> like if he well if they just michael sarah the character maybe <laughs> like or, if they uh, made, made I, him I don't, play what what he always plays uh, i don't think he's done anything outside of kick-ass or uh, super bad but the guy who played um, oh jim carrey was in the sequel he was uh yeah Colonel, yeah yeah Colonel Stars and the guy Stripes. the guy who played um, McLovin and Superman uh, Mince Plus Chris yeah Mince Plus. maybe he can be Ace Ventura but he he is lanky but I still I haven't seen him do I anything I just don't think he has the face for it I yeah because you have to Jim Carrey <laughs> like can do crazy faces and he's there's just no more just really animated. Like there's no more animated. There's no like no more animated physical actors. It's all just deadpan and funny, somewhat like, clever writing. Yeah, like they all can be funny. Outright, they all can be outright insulting. They can all be Judd Apatow funny, but they can't be Jim Carrey funny. Yeah, they can they can make funny jokes standing still. But uh, but yeah, so uh, don't do it. Unless, like, they could blow our minds and find someone. Don't do it. But I don't think it's going to be possible. Do unless they change everything. Not. Which. Do it. Ace Vent, Pet Detective, like a movie about a pet detective, is ridiculous anyway. So they had to make the character ridiculous to make it work. So I don't think a pet detective movie could work any other way. No, absolutely not. Yeah, so don't do it. Stop it. Like if it's if at all possible, stop it. Like maybe re- just release the old movies yeah, again, <laughs> re-release them in HD. Like, or something. yeah, just remaster them or something. Whatever, just do that. I'd I'd probably go. To, I'd probably watch those Don't before I'd watch a remake of it. <sighs> Unless you blow our minds, so maybe search. Because if you don't blow my mind with this remake, I will blow my mind (laughs) with a gun because of this remake. (laughs) Um, But uh, that's really it um, for our episode. Um, We'll release this on Monday. We'll see what the NASA thing says. Exciting uh, news. We may have a special report. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) Um, um, But uh, but yeah, that's going to be our episode 84. Uh, Make sure to follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, even though we haven't really done any videos. Do all those things. You do all those things. I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, rate and comment on our iTunes. That helps us um, in ways you can't even imagine. Or like, you share, can. retweet, all that. Yeah, all that, all that good stuff. Um, but that's really our episode. We'll see you next Monday. Yep. Yeah.